Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Monitor series. Today we're going to be looking at the Honeywell Luminor Minimax X4. It's kind of an older monitor, but I figured we'd make a video for you guys out there that have one still. Turn it on, you're going to use the button here on the left, press and hold. Wait for that nice little noise to go off and let it start up. While it's starting up, I'm going to go through some of the things you need. You need some tubing here that came with the monitor. So the calibration adapter looks like that. And a regulator. Uh, they recommend 0.3 liters per minute, but if you have a 0.5 laying around, it'll work just fine. Okay, also you're going to need some calibration gas. Now, the Minimax is kind of easy to change the calibration gas values on it to whatever you want. And if you need to do that, go ahead and just shoot me an email. It's james at idealcalibrations.com. Or you can give us a call here. It's 734-956-0539, though I recommend email, quite honestly. Okay, the cal gas you're going to need, 25 parts per million H2S, 50 parts per million carbon monoxide, 2.5% methane or 50% LAL, they're the same thing. And now, normally they use 20.9% oxygen with this mix, but I have an RKI mix cylinder laying here, and 12% will work just fine for this monitor. And nitrogen balance. Okay, so now that this is all started up, let's get the rest of this put together. First thing you're going to do is open up your regulator. I've got an old push button regulator here, so what you'll do, if you've got a, a knob one, just turn it open. For this one, push it in, turn it to the side, and lock it in the open position, and screw it into your cal gas. As soon as you hear gas, right now. Go ahead and turn it off and seal it back up. Grab your tubing, attach the tubing to the top of the regulator here. I'm using some BW tubing I, I had sitting here and it is not the easiest to get on the top of the regulator but that's why we do this before we're in cal mode. Next step, run the tubing to your regulator, or not to your regulator, to your adapter. Make sure it gets on there and stays on there. There we go. Very good. Okay, now we're going to put the monitor in cal mode. This one's a little tricky to get the hang of, so I'm going to walk you through it first. Press this button twice. So press, press real quick. It'll ask you what if you want to calibrate. We're going to press one of these two buttons to toggle yes, and press again to confirm. And then once it's gone through the zeroing process, once it's showing a little checkbox here that's blinking, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but you might be, press and hold this button for five seconds, and then it'll go into cal mode. After that, it's pretty easy. You just let it sit and attach the regulator, attach the adapter. Okay, let's go. Ready? Press the right button. Turn to yes. Press the left button. I've got 20 seconds where it's going to zero during this process. Now, once this is done, we're going to press and hold this button on the left for five seconds. I'll wait for that to get done. There it goes. Now press and hold. Five seconds. Two, three, four. There we go. Now we're in setup mode. We've got 10 seconds now. If we want to change these values, press this button right here, and you can go through and toggle the values. These work for us, though, so I'm just going to attach this, and now turn on our gas. Actually, I have to use two hands to do that. There we go. Now, see on the screen, currently we've got some dashes. As soon as it detects the gas, those dashes will turn into numbers for us. There we go. Now it's detected the gas to the appropriate levels. If those things stay as dashes, and let's say uh, only the explosive comes up with dash, 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 and the other numbers come up, that means you got a dead sensor and you have to replace it. Okay? If you run into that, give us a call. Again, it's 734-956-0539, or you can email me, james at idealcalibrations.com. Okay, once this gets done calibrating, it'll be done with the countdown here. All we'll do is remove the calibration cap, turn off our gas, and then we're going to let it sit for a minute. One of the things about this monitor that's kind of annoying, as soon as you're done calibrating, it'll latch into alarm mode most of the time. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the alarms to come down, and then we're going to press this button to cancel the alarms off the latch.
Okay, mm -hmm. we're good. Now you see in the upper left, it started blinking up here. And that means everything is good and that everything's calibrated. So now we can take this, turn off our gas first, detach our calibration adapter right here, toss that to the side, and we're going to let the values come back up to normal air. And if it gets too annoying, just press the button. And I'll run through a quick reset. And it'll run through and toggle and show you your alarms too. It's one of the things. One thing I don't really like about this monitor, every time you press that to reset things, it goes through this whole process and it's kind of goofy, but at least it lets you know what your alarms are real quick and easy. So let's see, once it's all done, there we go. Now everything's back to the good. Okay. If you guys have any questions or anything along those lines, just go ahead and give us a call. Number is, press right here. I'm going to turn it off real quick. Press and hold. Four, three, two, one. And you're good. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, james at idealcalibrations.com. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.